When quoting a customer, you will need to prepare a report. Reports can be found in the Report on Design section. Reports on Design can be activated by clicking on the last icon on your top row of toolbars. It looks like a little piece of paper with a pencil in front of it. I will click on Reports on Design and it will open up a screen. Now sometimes when you open up reports on design, and let me move this out of the way, I want to show you two different screens here. Sometimes you go right to a report called reports on design. Other times when you enter, it's usually after you've already produced a report, this screen called a sign design will appear. Click quick sale, move past that, and you go right into the reports on design menu. Under reports on design, we have several reports, contracts, cost sell reports. That report will actually give you gross profit or margin. Features and options, installation. Installation will walk your installer around the room and let them know where each and every item starts and ends and whether it's been trimmed or modified. Item list will give you a simple list of materials. Items by section, quote, quote's the one that I'd like to go into right now. That's probably the most frequent, frequently used report. So let's double click on quote and move on to the next screen. When you go into a quote, the next screen that you'll see will be called quote settings. Quote settings allows you to customize your cover page on your report and even determine whether a client sees list prices, whether they see individual items with prices, or you just want to give them a final price. Most of the time when I go into quotes, I simply click on the view button at the bottom of the screen and move right into my quote section. Now, when you see your quote, the first page that you're going to see is a cover page. The cover page would have a logo and your name for your report. You can change these two items by going back to the quote settings and both of those functions are on the left hand side that would allow you to put your own uh, logo in as well as name the report. This is also where your customer information would appear. That's the information that you typed in in the design information screen. Now, at the top left-hand corner of the page, you have left arrows and right arrows. The right arrow, the single arrow, allows you to move forward a page at a time. The arrow with, that moves to the points of the right with the line next to it, that takes you to the very last page of a report. And in this case, you can see that my kitchen in price group A cost $17,781, and in price group C, it was $20,098. The numbers that you're looking at, these are list prices. If you want to, you do have the ability to work with your cost and your very own cell multipliers. Besides being able to thumb through the pages left and right, at the top of the screen, there's a feature called Export. That's a frequently used feature because Export allows you to export your 2020 report into commonly used programs like Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. So for those of you who create databases, or I'm sorry, create spreadsheets and templates, you can go up to Export, go down here to Format, click on the arrow, and choose Excel, and Excel, I'm sorry, and, uh, and export your 2020 reports directly into Excel. When you want to print, click the print button. When you're ready to close and continue working with your design, simply click close.